Okay, good morning. Um, well, here we are in Via Maria. It's, um, it's May 2012 and um, we're just going to have a little tour of the school. This is the Quest Overseas School, which has been running since 2003 now. When we started off, we've got the first building here and then over the last couple of years, it's actually expanded over onto the second building here. We have large areas, large rooms downstairs and then we've built thanks to donation from a number of different foundations, the second floor up there. Um, it started off as an initial, as a, um, it started off as a preschool, um, but now it's grown up to fifth year primary school. The idea is to get all the way up to sixth year primary school. But what we're gonna do this morning is just go into each of the classrooms, but, uh, but let's go inside. The preschool has four different years to it two years, three years, four years and five years. Before we go in there, I just want to show you this area here. This is the, the play area for the younger kids. So this is the preschool play area. Um, we were out on the road beforehand. Um, for big events they can use the road. It is actually blocked off for traffic and so there's, uh, there's very, little, very little in the way of traffic that comes through. But during school time, this is the, um, the area that they use. This okay, let's go through here. Okay, so now we're going to go into the two-year-olds. This is a recent addition to the school. And we saw Buenos Aires, Estamos Fernando. This is just a small group at the moment. Um, there's usually five kids in this classroom. Here they're playing with. This is Samir. This is Samir. And we also have Ronaldo and Ali. And Ali. And here they're playing with their jigsaws and doing some colouring in. Okay, so this was the two-year-olds, now we're going to go through to the three-year-olds. There's a lot more kids in this class. And here we have Buenos Dias. Here we have the, uh, the classroom of three-year-olds. This is Marta. And, uh, and all the kids here, some of these have been sponsored, some of them have got um, park sponsorship. Um, this used to be a lot smaller, it's been expanded since because of the number of children which are coming through. We've made the rooms a little bit bigger. As you can see, you've got the, uh, the TV and video up in the corner, and then the tables and uh, some of the So as I said, they're in, they're in exam time at the moment. So, um, so at the moment, this is just a third of the class. Um, they come in, in sessions during exam time. So some of the kids will come now, four will come in an hour, and it rotates like that. Coming through to the four-year-olds now. Um, this, uh, this is a uh, Okay, now we're going to come. Now we're going to come into the five-year-olds. This is the fourth of the preschool. Buenos dias. This is uh, the five-year-olds of preschool. Who have you seen? This is Lucia. This is the five-year-olds. What do you say? This is the second one. Second one. How many years are you? Ah, yeah. So this yeah, so again, yeah, this is just a part of the kids. Uh, there's normally 23 children in this class. Um, let's have a look at the exam that they're doing. So for the five-year-olds, the sort of questions that they have. Okay, let's see what we've got. Um, this is how many, um, how many ice creams? You have to join it up with how many of each. Here you've got which is the odd one out. Then, uh, then the teacher reads out numbers and then they have to write them. So all pretty complicated stuff. But we'll leave them to get back to it. Okay, now we're coming up the stairs now. That was the preschool on the ground floor. And then we're coming up here into the primary school. Uh, to the first one we're going to first grade, first year. Okay, so here we come into the first year primary. So these kids, some of them have been here since the age of three, some of them have joined more recently. Buenos dias! Here's the children here. 
We're currently making uh, Mother's Day cards. This Sunday it's Mother's Day, and so there's a big build up um, all of this week. Actually, they're holding an event on Friday at the end of their exams so that uh, they can invite all the mothers down. This is Pilar, who is, uh, is the primary school teacher. Just so you have an idea, the, um, the regulations in the school, in the, the government here, means that every lesson plan actually has to be put together with demonstrations of exactly how they put together each lesson plans and so at the start of the year you have lesson plans and general objectives for the year and then it expands out into something so there's a lot of paperwork just like with all teaching in all the, every country um, and this is something that they have to keep up to date on a daily basis there can be random inspections at all times so that's it. So this is first year Okay, so now we're heading into the newly constructed area. We're coming up out of the main building and um, into uh, you can see all the classrooms that have been built recently. So this is second year primary. Um, if you come inside, permiso. See, it's quite tight here. Buenos dias. Second year primary. There's uh, 19 children in this classroom as well. Um, as you see, they have uh, specially made desks, and there's a couple which are missing, but um, we're on the face mainly. Again, they each have their own books. Communication. So they're working on their communication. Okay, so every, every, every class, every level has their own the definite teacher, but there are also a couple of specialist teachers, like a maths teacher, computer skills teacher, and at the moment they're having maths, I believe, and so we're going to come in and see Carlos in third year. So this here is, this here is third year. So there's 13 kids in this class, um, many of them again have been here since preschool, some have joined more recently. Um, this is Carlos, like I said, who's one of the specialist teachers, he's teaching IT skills to the kids. We do have a computer room, which we'll see a little bit later on, and they're just learning the principles at the moment. Okay, so we're nearly there now, this is fourth year, fourth year primary, and again, let's go inside and let's see what they're getting up to. Here we have fourth year and we have um, Guido, Guido um, who's the maths teacher. So again, this is a specialist teacher. They have their own teacher which is taking some time off at the moment just for this lesson and they're doing maths. Um, so again, you can see what they're working on here in primary. Um, my maths isn't very good, but it seems as if they're doing some sort of algebra. Um, and, uh, and so Gila will be with them for an hour and then their regular teacher will come through. Okay, so we've had first, second, third and fourth year. This is the main patio area. And now we're going to come in and see the fifth year kids. Permiso. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Here we have Pilar. Um, and these are the fifth year children, um, again, relatively small group at the moment because we're still recruiting for children this year. Um, uh, uh -huh. And today they're working on communication as well. They're working on communication, that's not what it says on the board, that was from a previous lesson. Okay, so those were the five um, primary school levels. And as you can see, the rest of the installation that we've got here, we've got the bathrooms here, which we built especially as well. Um, this is something which is still um, under construction. Hopefully we're going to be able to expand down into downstairs as well. Um, this here is um, a classroom at the moment which we will be using for sixth year primary. So each year as the, um, as the school has grown. So when we set up the school in 2003, we just had a preschool, so it's first and second year. Um, and then we moved up to third year um, preschool and then we started the primary. So each year the school has grown by one year. So next year we'll go up to sixth year primary and that will be the school at capacity. About 220 children more or less we hope. Um, in time, if we're able to, then you know we'd love to have a secondary school but at the moment this is the aim at the moment and establishing this in a good place. Um, so this Okay, so we've seen all the classrooms, we've seen the gym area and the play areas. There's just one other room which the school has, um, which we've been very fortunate again to have a donation 
few computers, and, uh, and this is the uh, the IT room. Um, here we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine computers, um, and uh, they're not being used by the kids at the moment. Uh, as you can see, two of the teachers are here. Um, you would have seen that uh, there was the IT teacher in one of the um, classrooms and a maths teacher in the other classroom. And so whenever they're teaching in the classes, then the teachers come in and prepare their lessons in here. So it also sort of serves as a part staff room as well, and they can get their work done on the computers. Okay, and moving across to the next room. This is... Uh, <coughs> Storeroom for a lot of the books which have been donated. There's been donations of organs, of uh, science equipment, uh, one of the things that we've got here. All sorts of books, and then obviously different things for, uh, for different events they have. And a really, really important inclusion for the school here is a photocopier. This one's been running for about four years. This is a recent um, acquisition from a recent donation. Um, they probably go through about Oh, it must be thousands of photocopies a day because the kids don't have their own books. Um, you know, everything's taken from perhaps one master copy textbook, um, and and also because the, the teachers are putting together their own materials, they'll put together you know sort of a lesson plan, and then it's photocopied for all of the kids. And so it's so so useful to have a good quality photocopier to keep them going. They wouldn't be able to go by otherwise. It would be a case of going down to um, local you know office supplies stores and paying well above the odds to, um, to get all of these photocopies. So this has been a fantastic uh, acquisition. And having two as well is really, really useful.